I felt a strong sense this morning when I woke up. Um, God just put something on my heart, and I just felt that, that you know that I should just share share this today um, on the video. And it and it was a sense of um, when I woke up this morning, I, I felt like. Um, I, I, God was saying that, you know, that we well, keep trying to look, you know, um, for a key. We keep trying to look, um, you know, to find a way. And if we try in our own strength and, and in our own flesh, we can't do it. And I actually almost saw 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 the sense of God um, giving us a key. And he's saying, look, you don't need to keep looking and trying in your own strength. I'm, I'm going to give you the key. I'm going to open the door for you. And I just saw God um, giving a key and opening up a door and opening up a way. Whatever um, way we need to go forward, whatever God wants us to do, he will make that way. We haven't got to try in our own strength. And it was just that sense of, of, of God opening the door, you know, God bringing freedom and release. And the other thing I got was this Bible passage, and I'll attempt to read it uh, while, while, um, while, while uh, being on this video. Um, this, is in, this is in Revelation. It's in Revelation um, 21, 3, and it says, and I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, Now the dwelling of God is with men, and he will live with them, and they will be his people, and God himself will, will be with them and, their, and be their God. He will wipe away every tear from their eyes. There will be no more death or mourning or crying or pain, for the order of things have passed away. And I just felt God was saying, you know, just to read that Bible passage out on this little video and... God is just reminding us today that um, he, his divine presence is with us, that there, that there is that divine consistency, whatever we're going through, that God is with us, that we have that fellowship with him, that we have that relationship, that we have that love with him. So whatever we're waiting on God for, whatever we, we've prayed, and whatever we've asked him for, he has promised to be with us, that we are his people. This passage is talking about that we are we are God's people, that we are, we are committed to him and he's committed to us and that he's going to just get us through the times. And it just goes on to talk about that, that death will be van vanquished all death will be gone and you know that we don't the sorrow and pain that we know in this life will, will be no more that we will know um that new life we will know that freedom in the lord and and whatever we're going through whatever's happening today let's just take hold of god's promises let's take hold of them the truth of who he is the truth of what he says the truth of what he's promised us and surely surely they will they will carry us through so i want to pray today lord jesus i want to pray because you put this word on my heart to share uh, this morning and i do just want to pray father god today um Father, thank you for the way that you are going to open up new doors. Thank you that um, if we try in our own strength, we, we don't get anywhere. We just become anxious and we become weary and tired. So I just do pray, Father God, for release, for freedom and for the new doors you want to open over people's lives uh, today, Lord. Whatever that entails, whatever that means, I just want to be obedient to what you've put in my heart today. So I just thank you for what you're going to do in hearts and lives today. In Jesus' name. Amen.